Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. I'm going to be showing you a couple of new products today. Uh, a lot of people have heard about this but never actually seen it. They just began shipping this and this is something that we're not actually able to sell yet. Uh, they're not wholesaling these, so uh, perhaps sometime in the future, but I have one here so I want to show you how this works. What this is, uh, it's called the BioLite Stove and it's a very efficient burner uh, for being able to burn biomass, uh, sticks, pine cones, things like that. It's got a power pack in here that has a battery and it's got a fan in it. And what it does is it circulates air on the inside of this and increases the burn efficiency. Now, it's also got a small thermal electric generator built in and it generates its own power to be able to run the fan, but it also saves up the excess power, whatever power it doesn't need, in a battery that's built in here. Now, once the battery has enough power excess available, it outputs it on a USB port so that you can charge uh, things like cell phones and GPS's. Um, now, the way this works, it doesn't have enough excess power to be able to run a high power device like this cell phone continually. What it does is save the power up, outputs it, and when the device uh, causes the battery voltage to drop, it turns off the output and then it uh, saves up the power again until there's enough to put out power. Anyway, we're going to go into some more details about this. We're also going to be using that with uh, a new device. This is called the uh, cup charger and this is uh, one of a family of thermal electric generators that we carry. Uh, this takes heat from a heat source and we're going to be using this uh, BioLite as the heat source and then you put water in here and it's able to boil the water so you can make lunch but at the same time it outputs power continuously through this connector here and a USB connector so with this uh, getting heat uh, it will be able to charge this cell phone continually so what we're going to do we have two identical phones here and they both have the same amount of charge we're going to charge one with this the BioLite and we're going to charge the other one with the cup charger and we're going to compare how long it takes uh, to charge both of them. It's really two components. Inside of here is the power pack and we're going to talk about that in a minute. And then the rest of the stove is all kind of one piece. On the bottom are these legs which cleverly fold away and uh, when you put these into position they uh, come out into a tripod kind of form. This leg here locks the power pack into position, so I'm going to show you how that works. But let's go ahead and look at the construction on this. On the outside you see perforated stainless steel here, and that, uh, that allows the inside to be really hot and the outside is much cooler. So at the end of the cycle um, you are actually able to touch this, which is kind of surprising. Behind that is a non-perforated chamber um, that is stainless steel and then on the inside there's a third stainless steel um, piece in there that has perforations on the inside and what happens is the power pack pushes air through this slot which goes in between these two chambers and it circulates and it comes out of all these holes on the inside and that's what uh, causes the airflow and increased burn efficiency. This is what the power pack looks like. On this side, this actually goes into the burn chamber and that collects heat. It brings the heat into a module inside of here and then on the opposite side of the module are these heat fins. Okay. Now when you turn the fan on, uh, and this takes a second, there you go, it draws the air in through the, these heat sinks and cools this side of the module and then it blows the air out here which goes into a hole in the burn chamber and that's what causes the circular motion. Okay, now on this side is an output and that's the USB output. There are also some LEDs here to let you know when the output is actually on and to let you know what speed the fan is running. And then this down here is very clever and I'm going to show you what that's all about. Okay, so here's the main body and this goes in like this through that hole and you see that's where the air comes out of this and that's where the air goes into the chamber. 
and this third leg right here is what locks that into position okay which is pretty clever so then with the other legs fully extended it forms a tripod and it sits uh, very nicely this is where your pot or your pan would be supported and it's a three-point support system and then it's got three areas uh, that are cut down a little further and that allows the flame to escape the new cup charger looks like this and inside is the charge controller regulator cable it has fold away handles like this and fits right on top of a normal uh, three-point stove this is a jet boil brand and it also if you're using a large container has room to put the container in there as well what we're going to do is we're going to use this this is from the firebox stove and it's actually a grilling grate so we're going to use that on top of here that's stainless steel and then we'll put that unit there you know now that we've been running this we discovered we really don't need this grate uh, I was concerned about how low the cup charger sat into the uh, BioLite stove. And actually, it works really, really well just sitting directly in there. There's still plenty of room for the exhaust gases to get out. And it also contains the heat. And you can see that the, uh, that the water is boiling better. And we actually have more power output. So there's a little tip for you. Okay, we fired up both of these phones. And they're both at 5% and uh, the BioLite is charging and the cup charger is charging so we're gonna go ahead and start a stopwatch it already looks like we need more fuel in here okay Eric let's get some heat going how's that looking in there okay let's fill that baby up okay. So Eric, we have a lot of smoke. What's going on? Um, wood chips. <laughs> That's, I don't and know and you else. just refueled it. And we just refueled, so we gotta let the smoke get out of there and yeah. get the fire going. Yeah, but it does show that there's plenty of room for the exhaust to be able to get out of there. So that's that's pretty neat, and that'll that'll catch fire here in a second. Uh, should go any second now. We've discovered a couple of things uh, during all this testing. We've discovered we really need to pay attention to the heat in the uh, BioLite, and we need to make sure that it's producing enough heat, because that heat is also needed for the cup charger. What we've been finding is the cup charger hasn't been putting out enough power, um, and the BioLite has been taking a really long time to charge up. So we've been getting about three minutes of power and then it would shut down for as much as 25 minutes to reload or recharge its battery. And that means that we don't have enough heat. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is paying very close attention to the cup charger and whether or not the water is boiling, which means that we've got enough heat. And uh, that helps both of these devices produce enough power and to recharge faster. So we're going to make those mental changes and press on. Now right now both of these phones, I don't know if you can see this, both of these are now at 10 percent power so we're starting with the same amount of power on both of these and uh, we're just going to make sure that we keep the fuel very hot in the uh, BioLite. So we're going to put some more fuel in here? Yes, we've got some wood chips All right. some and, pine, and pine cones. cones. Yeah, it really goes through the fuel with that fan going on there. Yeah, but the fan needs to be on to produce the most amount of power. Um, so, anyway, here we go. Now, after we realized we needed to pay a lot of attention to the amount of heat, uh, we have made some progress on one of these phones, if you could see this. The one hooked up to the BioLite is still at 10%, and this one hooked up to the cup charger is at 15%. Now, uh, the BioLite, we're not sure what's going on with the BioLite, but it hasn't turned on in the last 20 minutes or half hour uh, to output any power, so we may have blown it up. We're not sure, but we're about to give up, and we're going to have some lunch since we have hot water from the cup charger. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have some Mountain House, and this is a great application for the cup charger. 
uh, because while you're generating power, you have hot water. The one bright spot of the day, Mountain House. Mountain S House is always good. Saves the day. Now what is that that we're having? This is Jamaican style chicken and rice. And you know they don't make that anymore? That was in the cupboard. I kind of forgot we had that. So it's let's smell, try it. it. Smells great. You know, I'd say this one is actually pretty tasteless and bland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you said it correctly right there. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> now, now uh, we can understand why they quit making this one. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Sure is a beautiful day. <laughs> this, is, this is supposed to turn our day around, too. <laughs> For theepicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.